Welcome Aquarius. We are going to have an in-depth look at your person, your twin flame. Um, what is the purpose of um, this lifetime for you and your twin flame? What you can expect to happen? What, what errors are being corrected, if any, from the last lifetime? Now, this is how we're going to begin. I would like you to think, and you may have to pause the tape, I would like you to go back and think about when you first met this person. Now, often on Zooms when I'm doing personal readings and I ask this question, um, people think that they should, oh, I should go to when I first started seeing them. No, I want you to go back to when you very first met them. Um, even if it was as a child, it has to be your first memory. Even if for years after that you didn't speak. So I'll get you to pause the tape so you can remember this moment. Okay, so pause it now. And when you're ready, when you have that moment fully in your mind, continue the tape. Now, with your mind focused on that first meeting in this lifetime, show me what the purpose spirit was. What was the status of this connection when they first met in this lifetime? And what was their goal? So I got three. All right, so, wow. Obviously, um, Burkana, this was a new beginning um, for this um, relationship. So it may not have come into union in the last lifetime because we have um, the rune of Iwas. Now remember, it's different from Iwas, which looks completely different. Iwas is all about gradual improvement in relationships. Okay, I'm just going to check my rune book to make sure I'm correct. Yes, change. Change for the better. Improvement, gradual development, and steady progress. All right, now, and we have Burkana, um, the card of new, be or, sorry, the rune of new beginnings. Continuing, this is quite fascinating. Burkana can often signify a new beginning, a new romance, which will bring much happiness. All right, there's supposed to be a favorable outcome, so that tells me that in this lifetime, this is supposed to come together. Doesn't mean that it will, but that, that, is, that was Spirit's intention. Now, we also have Dagaz, Major period of increase and prosperity. Changes again. Sometimes drawing this rune, Dagaz, will mark a major change in your life. Perhaps so radical that you will never live your life in the same way again. Usually this deals with making a new start on some level. But sometimes it shows that you must make the best of a situation over which you have no control. Amazing. Um, now, so this is very, this is where you, your union is supposed to go um, in this lifetime. Now, the next question that I'm going to ask is what was the state of the union at the ending of the last lifetime and what went wrong, if anything? What was the state of the union? in the last lifetime and what went wrong, if anything. Sorry, this means what was the state of the union in the last lifetime and what went wrong, if anything. What went wrong, if anything? Oh, wow. Amazing. Wow.
So we have the blank room, amazing. Thora's eyes. That's clearly what went wrong. Um, and Fehu. So in the last lifetime, it was destined for fulfillment with the blank room and Fehu. But this is what went wrong. Thora's eyes, one moment. So this is a rune associated with a, with a masculine. Here are the errors I believe that your masculine made in the last lifetime. They fell too far into their own self-assuredness. They were stubborn in some way. I'm right, you're wrong. Um, they did not wish to heed to advice and information offered. They were very full of themselves. Um, and the main problem was they felt threatened by an individual that they perceived as weaker or subordinate to them. Any hasty decision bound to cause regrets since it is brought in through a weakness in yourself. They deceive themselves. So it sounds like ego was an issue for your person. Um, you know, there was, a, there was, fulfillment was destined, but this person... Um, reacted with ego. So this is supposed to be improved in this lifetime. I think what we're going to do now is we're going to go, um, I want you to go back now to the very moment that you first met your person, please. Pause the tape if you're not there yet. In three, how did Aquarius's person feel? What were they thinking and feeling? When they came across Aquarius for the first time in this world, for the first time in this world, there's three coming out. Yeah, well, it's no trouble to tell. We've got two fives and a seven. What was that about? I'm right, you're wrong, big ego. So, um, over, they remembered you, obviously, over here as your person, being, still being stubborn, doing things their way, feeling like they can win at any cost. But when they met you, um, over here, their feelings, I feel, were right here in the Five of Wands. Clarify their feelings when they first met Aquarius in this lifetime. Clarify their feelings. There's three coming up. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Look at this. Two of cups. Four of wands. And somebody looking forward to the future. So, this is quite a dichotomy. Why did they initially feel like fighting and pushing it away? Why did they initially feel like fighting? Because they knew you were their true spiritual match. Fear, remember that in the lover's card, intimidation, the man is actually fearful in the lover's card. And the woman, her, her mudra, her hand gesture, um, it tells him, do not be afraid. Whereas in the devil card, so when you first met in this lifetime, this judgment coming underneath the lovers. Anyway, I want you to look at, at there is a right hand gesture coming from the man. Okay, it's, a, it's kind of like a hand that's closed. Okay. I don't know if you can see it there. Anyway, it's called Abaya Prada. He's, he, it's about protecting oneself, so he feels that he has to protect himself in the lover's card. Her mudra is the hand is a little more open and relaxed. Notice her. Do you see the thumb is separated from the rest of the hand? It's called abeya, and it says, don't be afraid. Interesting, in the devil, um, his hand gesture is like, like a serpent's head. He can't wait to pull her in, and her hand gesture is um, called Bumus 
Barsha, and she is doing that to control evil or to try to. So um, basically, your person was scared. In this lifetime, picking up from the fear that obviously um, the Divine Masculine had in the last lifetime, when Aquarius and their person first met in this lifetime, look at the fear. Or uncertainty it could be coming from a karmic. Um, how did this person feel about Aquarius when they first met Aquarius? I mean, there's that whole idea of fear, deception, and a walk away. So your person may have had a very, you know, um, sort of um, latent memory of the past here with the moon. You know, that is the, um, inside those two pillars are all the knowledge of everything that has been. So they may have had this anxiety, um, this feeling like, I think, I believe I've walked away from this before. How they feel when they first met Aquarius in this lifetime? Death and the Ace of Wands. But, 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 you know, I mean, this really suggests that they had some idea of a past lifetime. This is a new beginning after a death. One more. How did your person feel when they first met you in this lifetime? I mean, immediately. Now, I'm just going to look quickly and see how you felt about this person when you first met this person in this lifetime. Oh, it's going to be hard to get this split a lot. Ah. Okay, your intuitive knowledge, your intuitive memory is amazing. This is just incredible. You definitely, there's the fool there, had a flashback. Um, you knew, you had to have known that you knew this person from before because you're also getting the Eight of Cups, the Moon, Ten of Swords. Something ended very painfully. And look at the Devil and the Karmic over there with the Devil. The Lovers over here. So, um, in a previous lifetime, in a previous lifetime, this person um, was unable to get out of the devil here is fearful energy. So they were, and I believe that they, because of that, they were stuck with the karmic. This karmic is. Um, also associated with devil energy. So they may have gone toward this person in the previous lifetime um, because of fear. You're picking this up when you first met them. Yeah, wow, just look at this. You're looking at this. And you're feeling wary. So you had memories of wariness from the previous lifetime. That's amazing. <clears throat> um, the devil is one of the main reasons why we're here in this lifetime. Remember that every single, if you, you know, if you look at your chart, the wheel, there are 11 houses. And so those are like 11 projects that you have to work on, um, that your soul um, works on. The purpose of this world um, is to advance the soul so that the self can become unbounded. You can return to your unbounded self, your limitless unbounded self. Um, so um, your person um, was mainly responding with fear in the previous lifetime. So this is something that needs to be worked on in this lifetime. I'll explain a little more as we go through the reading what that means, okay? So All right, so we're just gonna begin you begin to ask spirit about your person, the masculine. You can switch the energies um, if you like, okay? So spirit, 
show me what's going on with the divine masculine right now. How are they doing? What errors are they making? If any, have they made any improvements? Please, what's going on with Aquarius's divine masculine first? And four, show me how the divine masculine, how, how is Aquarius's divine masculine doing, please? Two more. In this lifetime, one more. How are they doing, spirit? How is your person doing? Okay, you got an answer. Ugh. <laughs> you can see why you're frustrated with this person. So they may be coming. I'm going to get a clarification on this. Clarify how the Divine Masculine is progressing, please. How is Aquarius's Divine Masculine progressing in this lifetime? We've got the sun twice, guys. Now, on the other side of this, we've got the Five of Swords and the Two of Pence. Um, there is some progress here. So they have become aware. Something has been revealed to them regarding this kind of behavior. Um, and the reveal has them thinking. All right, so let's just keep going. What have they become aware of and what are they thinking about? What have they become aware of regarding the game playing? What, has, what have they become aware of in this lifetime? Um, wow, that, that they feel that they needed to control the Two of Cups, that they need to be in control. What have they become aware of in this lifetime? What is the Sun and the Five of Swords? <laughs> We've got the King of Pentacles coming in. This could be a continuation of the reading that I posted on Amabella's Intuition. So there is um, an idea of them, what they become aware of is their second guessing, um, their need to control this bonding here. Um, and they're, they're wondering whether or not uh, this person could be aware that there's somebody new coming in, They're, they could be afraid, yeah, that you're going to take a new opportunity. They're, so they're, they are second-guessing their behavior, all right? They thought that being controlling was the way to move this forward. They're now second-guessing this because of the entry of the possibility of somebody else. Have What improvement have they made, if any, though? Spirit, what improvement has Aquarius's person made, if any? Well, the improvement is that their ego is becoming burdensome. Somehow their ego is dragging them down. The ego has to do with dealing with a third party. That's why they're dealing with a third party, uh, to boost their ego. The progress is that they're, they're finding that this is making things more difficult for them. That's progress. Show me the progress that Aquarius's person has made. Okay. i got to get some cards underneath this. Eight of... Okay, right, Aquarius walking way over there. Here. Progress that they've made. Fool, Eight of Cups, Ten of Pens, Six of Wands, Two of Pens, Page of Pens, The It Girl. One moment. The progress that they've made is they are second guessing. Over here, here's their ego that they're second guessing. And here's what they're realizing. 
What they walked away from was what could have been a commitment. There's a poor judgment that they made because they were being stubborn. It's led to heartbreak. Now they're in the Eight of Swords. They made a lot of empty promises. What they're looking at, what they're facing is, what they didn't see is a tower. So they are learning. They have learned something. This is very hopeful. How did this, what is the main thing that happened that instigated this progress? What is the main thing that happened that instigated this progress? This is funny. So they did something. They may, in being an egomaniac, they may have attracted this person. Um, what happened when they attracted that person? Oh, there she is. Karmic, they may have married a karmic. And how did they feel or do they feel about the karmic? Uh, they, they're, they think there's got to be something more. How do they feel about where they are? They want to end it, you see. Move forward. Why do they want to end things with the karmic? Why do they want to end things with the karmic? Because there's no love. Because they, they went to the karmic to end love. Yeah, like this. There's what they, there's the twin flame energy. There's justice. All right, this is deep. I'm going to get the verification deck. Can we see a little, um, a little more detail about why they keep the karmic in the picture, the devil out of fear, king of pentacles and the devil now? Give me a moment. So the devil is all about focused on material things. Um, a lot about how people look. You might have noticed that the um, sex as well. The six of wands came up repeatedly. So the karmic may be very good looking. Um, they may have the same type of ego that this person has. Um, so they have something in common with the karmic. And that is that they have a focus on what they can see around them, hear, feel, gossip, what people say, judgment, people's opinions, keeping up with the Joneses, material things, um, all things that are non-spiritual. But it is fear. I'm just going to point out the difference between the devil which is coming up for the karmic and the lover's card, which, which was what came up for you. There's the devil, which your person is sitting next to right now. Um, and there's the card that was associated with you and this person. Do you know that these cards are exactly the same except for one thing? It's not that this card has anything evil in it. It's that this card is missing one ingredient that this card has. The lovers has everything that the devil has, passion and sex and, you know, um, decadence. Sure, it does. But the lovers also has spirit um, up at the very top there. And in fact, you are looking up to spirit. Um, do you see how the woman looks up to spirit? The man is looking at her body. So um, this card is missing one thing that the lover's card has in it, and it has to do, do you see the upside down pentagram right there? So the pentagram has five points, fire, earth, air, water, and spirit. But it is supposed to be standing this way so that the tip of the of the pentagram that rep, that very tip up tip up there represents spirit why is it inverted in the devil card because in the devil card the spirit is jumped out so there is no spirit this is devoid of any spirit and so it's sex without love it's life that's focused on, you know, it doesn't mean that 
with the lovers, you can have a wonderful life and have a big house if you want and have material things. But the focus is on unconditional love. Here, there, it's everything but love and spirit. There's no faith here, so there is a lot of fear. Without spirit, without love, there cannot be any faith. And remember that love, God, spirit, cast out all fear. So there's going to be a lot of fear in this card because of the absence of spirit and the absence of unconditional love. And right underneath the devil is the five of swords. So it's mostly fear because as I say, the mudra of the man in the lover's card is to protect himself. Why does Aquarius' person in this lifetime fear, love, or spirit? What my, the uh, split is, just look at the discrepancy in the split. Because this person, so here's the Four of Wands Union, here's 1111. Here's your person looking at you. And your person is in the Two of Wands trying to, uh, trying to exercise dominion, power, and control over this person, which I believe is you. Here's the problem. Do you remember when I read out one of the meanings of the runes that they were intimidated? This woman, um, while she stands on her own, she attracts many suitors. What's frightening about her is that, I just saw one, one, one. What's frightening about her is that um, she can stand on her own. Um, she's confident within herself. She has everything that she needs. She can hunt for herself. There's a falcon on her hand that she's trained to hunt for her. She spent two years doing it. This woman really doesn't need a man. She might want one. So um, this person is worried. What they're scared of is that they can't exercise dominion over you. And I think it's because they feel intimidated by you. I'll clarify one more time. Why is Aquarius this person Fearing, love, or spirit. Whoa. This person fears change. Perhaps they fear that things could change quickly. Why do they fear? Wow. They feel powerless. Why do they feel powerless with the idea of change and security as well? I just think that um, they don't know what's happening in the future. It's like they're afraid of what's coming around the corner. What are they afraid of? Um, whether or not you'll take it, can they do it? What are they afraid of? What is your person afraid of? Okay, so you might be a very attractive person. This is the crazy thing about this. Um, many times when a man is in the, sorry, seven of wands, what this person is worried about is beating off competitors. They're worried, for example, if you go, yeah, if you go into a restaurant or you go out in public for your, with your person um, and they notice that you're being looked at a lot, and you don't even notice it. You wouldn't notice this, you know, because you're comfortable in your own skin. But they notice it, and it bothers them. Because what they're worried about is what if somebody better, what if some better opportunity comes along, and I've got to beat off all these people. Little do they know, you know, you love them. You're not even looking at whoever else is in the restaurant, but they are looking at people looking at you. 
I'm going to just get a different deck and run it again. What is the main problem right now with this connection spirit? What is the main problem right now with this connection? King of Swords, Three of Cups, and the Tower. <laughs> I'll just show you the way that it came out. You know, I just feel like this is sort of, what if it doesn't work out? What if it doesn't work out? If someone were to come toward you, if this person can't, you know, be the boss and have everything, you know, in control, it would be a disaster. Um, what, is this a what is this person afraid will happen if they commit to Aquarius? What are they afraid will happen? <sighs> Um, that you'll leave them and then they'll be stuck. Now, it came out like this, though. So they feel powerless. They feel afraid, fearful to break out of this and to take a risk. Why do they feel powerless and fearful of breaking out there in the ten of? Okay, this is how it came out. Okay, it, it looks like they're afraid that you'll go towards somebody else or that you don't care about them or that they're afraid of your independence. What are they afraid will happen? What are they afraid Aquarius is going to do if they commit? What are they afraid that Aquarius is going to do if they commit? Renee. Um, I mean, perhaps... They may be afraid of holding you back from some other opportunity. What are they afraid of, please? What is stopping them from committing to Aquarius? They've got you on a pedestal, I think. The star and the two of cups. That it's too much of a long shot. They're afraid of the bonding process. What? What is it that they're afraid of in the Two of Cups? Sorry. What are they afraid of in the Two of Cups? All right, I'm going to take this. What they're afraid of is giving um, equally, un being unconditionally giving. In this Two of Cups, it's very beautifully well balanced, okay? This person is not taking some of this cup and giving it to a third party, nor is this person. They're afraid of doing that. So what they do is they always make sure you're down here somewhere and there's another person there. You know, they always hold back, you know, hold back. They may be giving you 30%, you know, and the other person 70%. It's underneath the star, Ten of Pentacles. I, I just think that they put you on a pedestal, but we have to find out why this gives them some kind of security. So this person is afraid of unconditional giving. A lot of people are like that. Um, they'll say, well, why should I give him? Why should I tell him that? If he hasn't told me, such and such. So they, they do not understand um, vulnerability or the idea of unconditional love. This person wants to get something out of everything. If there isn't a material, um, if they can't see, you know, some kind of reward or benefit for them, um, they think that they're losing something. Um, why is this person afraid of unconditionally giving? Why is this person afraid of unconditionally giving? All right. King of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. Give me a moment. Ooh, what's under here? Ten of Wands, and there's another card trying to come up. Justice. Three of Cups, King of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Justice. Give me a moment. So I feel like they're afraid that if they give unconditionally, um, that they won't get back what they've given, that um, they will have a hard time getting things balanced. Um, 
sorry, that got cut off. They feel that if they give back um, to you as much as you're giving them, that they won't will not continue to receive it back. That it will you'll, they'll have a difficult time getting things balanced. Now, there's something else here. There is a third party involved. Why is the third party here? Why is the third party here? To hold up the connection. To keep you stuck. I try to explain this uh, to people on Zooms. For some reason, um, the more in love the Divine Masculine falls with the Divine Feminine, sometimes the harder they grip the karmic. And it goes something like this. So the Divine Masculine is not afraid of losing the karmic. The Divine Masculine is afraid of losing you. So that's why the Divine Masculine likes to make sure that while, while it's implied that you're in a connection with the Divine Masculine, it's implied. They never really tell you, yes, we're in a commitment. Um, that way, the Divine Masculine cannot lose you because there was never anything, according to him. We never had anything anyway. See what I'm talking about? Um, and this is why I'm always encouraging women to not be fearful most women are afraid that if they withdraw from the connection and say, um, I'd like a commitment and that means there cannot be any other people, um, they're afraid that the masculine will be either turned off or think that they're not interested. That's why I always beg women to, to follow my um, rules, which is to send them an email and clearly explain that you do love them. Um, that you do want a committed relationship, but that right now there are three and um, They might deny it. They might say no, there's not three and then what, what I advise women to say is well What I would like is an engagement ring on my finger You know, we don't have to get married, but I would like to be able to publish this in the paper and For all to know that we are engaged It is the most powerful thing that you can do and then walk away Don't start seeing other people or anything, but you have to be brave enough to do that. Um, when you do that, you will see massive results. The karmic is there to assuage his fear of losing you. I know that sounds crazy, but trust me on it. I've seen this a million times before. Action from spirit to Aquarius. What is the suggested course of action? Spirit, what, did you, what do you suggest? What did I say? This is exactly my advice. This is the email that you send. You don't send a text to get an email because the email, it's not, the idea is they're not going to return the email. The email is sent with, with the following. I love you. I mean, if you do, okay. I don't think I'll ever find anyone to replace you but you're hurting me because I believe there's someone else involved. If there isn't, then there's something wrong anyway. Um, what I really want is a commitment from you. See this? That's what I really want. Show me the suggested, what should Aquarius do then? The suggested course of action. Suggested course of action. Um, all right. It's interesting. Oh, there's another card there. Oh, wow. Okay. Hang on. I gotta turn these around. Just give me a moment. Wow. Very powerful message here. <laughs> One moment. The suggested course of action is the devil, judgment, and the ten of pentacles. Face the devil head on. The devil is the fear. Because when you do this, if you do what I've just explained in the previous split and you allow spirit to step in, what ends up happening is this toxic person that your person is tied to or, or whatever it is, whatever fear it is that they have, it's, if it's not a person, it's a fear. 
over here in judgment, as long as you are expressing what you want over here. Here is the burning down and the, ra and the building up from the ashes. This person then has to turn around and look, they're, they're left alone with the karmic. They have, they have no choice but to hear this loud blast of the horn of the esoteric. You know what that is? You telling them that you love them. With no expect expectancy of them returning that email. They're not supposed to anyway. Um, and this is, there's a mirrored image behind here. This is where they have to now examine what they've done. All right. So what happens then? What happens then, please, Spirit? What happens then? Wow. Well, let me show you the way it came out. You guys say no? And you're actually um, defeating the devil in doing this because the devil, every time you say, oh, well, I'm afraid to do that because what if he thinks that I don't like him? That he doesn't, that I don't like him. Well, if you follow my instructions and you put in the email, um, what I've told you to put in, he, this person can't because you've given the information. I do love you. I want to be committed to you. It's it in order to do this. It takes someone who is unlike this masculine. It takes someone who is not afraid to unconditionally love someone no matter what the result, no matter, it's unconditional. So there are no conditions such as will they return the email? Will they, um, you know, will this, will they re reciprocate? That's, if you're concerned about that, you're not in love with this person. If that's your main concern, you're, you've signed a deal with the devil. What that means is that you've subscribed to fear. Because before you write that email, the devil will come to you and say, Oh, but, you know, this person's been so bad to you. And why does he deserve to get to know that you loved him? Why should you say that? He's never done this, you know, toward you. That's fear. And if you subscribe to that, you've signed a deal with the devil. He's won. He's won. The devil has won. If you have the courage to stand up and tell the truth about how you feel, and it also means you have the courage and the confidence to know that you've treated this person so well, you love this person, you know you are the correct choice. You know this person is in good hands with you. You know you will love, serve, and honor this person. But you're giving them one thing that you want them to do, a commitment and if, and you're walking away. So you're asking for something that ought to be done anyway. That's a commitment. All right. Um, and it takes great courage because it, it, you're doing it without any knowledge or you do not know what the outcome is going to be. It's, it is their last chance. So if you're not ready to do that, um, perhaps you'd want to waste some more of your divine feminine energy on this person. Let's see, you know, try your, go ahead and keep, keep doing it your way. But it takes courage to do this. Okay. Now. Okay, we're going to get some more advice from spirit. Okay. What does Aquarius need to know about why it's so important to take this stand? Wow. Because the truth is important. Because a change is needed. Because you will be victorious if you withdraw your energy. Because action will be taken. Why is it important for Aquarius to take this action? Wow. Because you want to see them fighting for you. It, it will give you, it'll finally give you some clarity on whether or not they're going to stand up for the connection. 
Show me more, please. Also, you know, if they're still stubborn and non-committal, um, it will also bring you results. You want you want them to become less stubborn. You want them to support and protect, you know, the, the union here, what's underneath this. Wow, Archangel Michael. Okay, there's a card underneath this as well. Wow, Ace of Wands. Because this can be done. In doing this, you're showing this person, it's like you're showing them that you want this opportunity, you will take it. There's a card underneath this. Yeah, and look, and there's the Seven of Swords. Because their game Because their game they feel that as long as they're beating you off, um, being stubborn, um, fighting off commitment and delaying you, that this is a strategy that will keep you wanting them. And this is what has to change. And perhaps this did work for a while. And in doing this, in doing this email and pulling away, what happens? What is the impact on the divine masculine strategy? Um, that Well, what he's realizing here is that he's actually walking away from his nine of cups. You're supposed to be walking. Somebody's walking People are supposed to be going from the eight to the nine. But the way it comes out is this person will realize that they've just walked away from what they wanted. Why is it so important that Aquarius be brave and leave it up to this person? Wow. All right. Because... This person, so I've got the Page of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. This complete walk away is needed. It is the only thing, here's a message that's going to get through to your person. There is some time, space, and silence needed in order for this person to learn what they're losing. They need to think about this. What is the what is, what is it that breaks down? Because your person has this theory, I see, that's being broken down. Wow, do they ever start... Do they ever start looking at what they're doing? So what they're realizing here is that over here, all right, um, I believe that this is you. Um, because you're in walking away, you're about to forfeit, you know, you, you know, your, your connection with this person. This is what you feel like you're losing them, picking up that one pentacle and moving forward. But to your person, that one pentacle that you're moving forward with, what you have is the ace of pentacles. So, you know, um, you've got it all. It's, it's not about money. This person may realize that it's your worthiness. Yeah. It's the end of the reading. It's your the fool and the nine of pentacles. It's your worthiness. It is the only thing that's going to make it eminently, eminently clear to this person of your worthiness and make them want to take a risk with you. All right. Let's get some messages from this person and see if any of this makes sense. One moment. All right, what does this person want to say to Aquarius, please, in four, in three, 
in two, and in one. Yeah, childhood wounding is influencing my actions. So they had that's where the fear came from. I have unwittingly sabotaged our connection. Does this person want to save Aquarius? Please be patient with me. I have sabotaged the connection. They want to say to Aquarius, I want to make love to you. Please be patient with me. They want to say to Aquarius, destined connection. I want to make love to you. See, they're very devil oriented. They want to say, can you please forgive me and let go of the past? I want to make love to you. They want to say, I never stopped loving you. Betrayal, I never stopped loving you. Obstacles and betrayal, that's the third party that they stuck there. They did it on purpose. The obstacle was on purpose. I wish I could give you more obstacles. You know, tongue in cheek, they put the obstacle there on purpose and then said, I wish I could give you. But here it is. I feel like I'm not good enough for you. So what will this person do? The chemistry between us is off the charts. Please be patient with me. What will this person do? I dream of you. You are the first thing on my mind when I wake up in the morning. I miss your touch. What will this person do? I regret a lot of the things that I've said and done. I apologize. I want to make love to you. Will this person take any action? Spiritual awakening. I'm intimidated by you. Makes sense. I want to make things right. I choose you. I choose us being together. Let me know if it resonates. Thanks for listening, Aquarius.